The next few videos are going to be around the topic of trigonometry. And one of the first things that I want to go into is the concept of similar triangles. So let's take a look at these two triangles here. And let's say that in these two triangles, we have one angle here, which is equivalent to this angle here, meaning that they have the same value, they're the same angle. Then let's say that this angle up here is equivalent to this angle up here. They also have the same value. And let's say that this angle down here is equivalent to this angle here. They also have the same value. That turns out to be one of the criteria that you need to satisfy in order to say that you have two similar triangles. We have corresponding angles which are all equal when we look at our two triangles. So that's one thing that we have to have for us to have similar triangles. We have to have corresponding angles that are equal. Another thing that we have to have when we are looking at similar triangles is that the sides of our triangles are scaled versions of one another and they are all scaled by the same factor. So let's actually look at that into a little bit more detail and let's start out by labeling these two triangles. So let's label this one A, B, C and let's label this one D, E, F. Now the first thing that we had was that angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F. Now let's say that this side AB, the length of side AB was equal to 2, the length of side BC was equal to 1, and the length of side AC was equal to 3. And let's say in this triangle, the length of DE was equal to 4. In this triangle, the length of DF was equal to 6, and the length of EF was equal to 2. One thing that we can notice is that to get from BC to EF, you multiply by 2. To get from AB to DE, you multiply by 2. And to get from AC to DF, you also multiply by 2. So each of these sides of this triangle were multiplied by 2 in order to get the sides of this triangle, meaning all of these sides are just scaled versions of one another. And that is the second criteria that you have to satisfy in order to confirm that you have similar triangles. So what that means is that if we took side AB, let's say we had side AB, Side AB would have to be equal to side DE multiplied by some factor. So we would have some factor X multiplied by DE, and that would give us side AB. If we took side AC, side AC is going to be equal to side DF multiplied by some factor. So we have X multiplied by DF. Side BC is going to be equal to side EF multiplied by some factor. And what's important is that this is the same factor in each case. It has to be multiplied by the same factor in order for us to have similar triangles. And if we were to rearrange this for X, we would get that X is equal to AB over DE. X is equal to AC over DF. and x is equal to bc over ef. And since x has to be equal in each of these cases, we know that ab over de has to be equal to ac over df, which has to be equal to bc over ef. So let's rewrite that right here. We know ab over de is equal to ac over df, which is equal to bc over EF. The ratio of our corresponding sides has to be equal. We can see that if we try to align which angles correspond to which points, we can see that this side AB is going to correspond to DE, BC will correspond to EF, and AC will correspond to DF. So basically our ratios of each of our corresponding sides is going to be equal. And that is the second criteria that has to be met in order for us to determine that we have a similar triangle. And when both of these criteria are met, we can say that triangle 
ABC is similar to triangle and when we're writing down this second triangle here, the order is very important. So if we wrote down this triangle as A, B, C, we have to write down this one as D, E, F. So triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle D, E, F. So again, just to restate that point, the order is very important. We have to make sure that our corresponding angles line up in the order that we write this in. So we have to make sure that angle A corresponds to angle D, and that is true. Angle A here is equal to angle D. We have to make sure angle B corresponds to angle E, which is true. We have to make sure angle C corresponds to angle F. So this is the correct way of writing this, not triangle ABC is similar to triangle DFE. That is incorrect. This is the right way to write that. So the order is important. Let's go over an example of a case of two triangles and determine whether or not we have similar triangles. So let's say you were given the following two triangles and you had to determine whether or not these two triangles were similar triangles. Well, one of the first things that we can notice is that we don't know what this third angle is in this triangle here. But one thing that we do know is that all of the angles in a triangle all angles in a triangle have to equal 180 degrees. So if we know two angles, we can easily figure out our third angle by setting these two plus our third angle equal to 180 and solving for that last angle. So we know that 75 plus 20 plus X, whatever this angle is, has to be equal to 180. And that means that our angle X has to be equal to 85 in order for all three of these to equal to 180. So this angle here is going to be equal to 85 degrees. And now one thing that we can notice is that this angle here is equivalent to this angle. This angle is equivalent to this angle and this angle is equivalent to this. So we might have similar triangles because our first criteria is met. We have equivalent angles at the corresponding vertices of these triangles. But one thing that we have to determine is whether the corresponding sides are all going to have equivalent ratios. So let's start off by labeling these triangles. So let's label this one A, B, C, and we can label this one D, E, F. So we already know that angle D is going to be equal to angle A. We know that angle F is equal to angle C. And we know that angle E is equal to angle B. So that first criteria is met in these two triangles. So now the second thing we have to do is look at the ratios of these corresponding sides. So let's start off with this side here, side DE. What is the corresponding side on this triangle to side DE? Well, let's look at the side that joins the 20 degree angle with the 85 degree angle in this triangle. That would be side AB. So side DE over its corresponding side, which is going to be AB, so DE, over AB is going to be equal to 15 over 5, which is equal to 3. Now let's look at EF. If we look at EF on this triangle, the corresponding side on this triangle is going to be BC. So what is EF over BC? EF is equal to 6 and BC is equal to 2. So again, that's going to be equal to 3. Now let's look at side FD. If we look at side FD, the corresponding side to FD is going to be CA. So FD over CA is equal to 18 over 6, 18 over 6, which is again equal to 3. So we can see that in each case, our ratios of our corresponding sides are equal. If we look at this triangle and we multiply the lengths of each of these sides by three, we're going to get these three values. So this triangle is simply a scaled up version of this triangle here. 
So both of these criteria have been satisfied and we can conclude that these are two similar triangles. So we can conclude that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. And remember that this order that we write this in is very important. We have to confirm that angle A here is going to correspond to angle D in our other triangle. And they do. We have to check that angle B is going to correspond to angle E in the other triangle. And they do. Both of these are equal to 85. We have to confirm that angle C is equivalent to angle F in the other triangle. And they are. We have F as 75 and C as 75 as well. So we know that we have written down the order of our triangles correctly. So when we're determining whether we have two similar triangles or not, we have to satisfy these two criteria. We have to make sure that our corresponding angles are equal in our two triangles. And we have to make sure that the ratios of our corresponding sides are going to be equal for each of our sides. So DE over AB is equal to EF over BC, which is equal to FD over CA. And if those two criteria are satisfied, we know that we have similar triangles.